Hello and welcome to sunny San Diego. My name is Sonia Begeman. I'm the editorial director here at Seed World Group and we are at the American Seed Trade Association Vegetable and Flower Seed Conference. Uh, and with me is Andy Levine who is the CEO of ASTA. So Andy, it's sunny, it's beautiful, but what else is going on here at this great conference? Well, this is that opportunity for us to get back together, and much like we did it with our corn and soybean meeting in Chicago in December, this is the first time in two years that the vegetable seed industry has met, the vegetable and flower seed industry has met, and so it's nice to be back in California, it's nice to be back with the people who produce the seed that produces the, all the produce that's planted by seed, you know, and so our salads and everything else that we en so enjoy, and um, it's that time to see what's been happening. You know, so a lot of it is getting back together and just reconnecting because those doing those things that you can't do on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really nice to be able to shake people's hands and, and be here in person for sure. And you guys have had a jam-packed schedule. This is the second to last day, tomorrow being the last yes. day. Um, you know, as you look back over the past few days, um, aside from the golf tournament, <laughs> what has been your favorite part? Um, I have to say the session this morning was really good. Um, this morning we talked about confined environment agriculture, which is you know confined space, uh, uh, major warehouse facilities to produce indoor uh, vegetables and, and products like that. And it really, the innovation is changing so rapidly. The market is changing so rapidly. We started this discussion five, six years ago with Asta and, and the companies that are working in this space. And now uh, a lot of things have changed. And so what continues to change and where do our members Clip into that. The other thing uh, is great to see is our trade show floor. We had tables in there. I don't know, remember how many exactly we had, but they're full, and the room was full. And it was great to see everybody back at the table talking about the industry. Yeah, the noise in that trade room was really encouraging because everyone's talking, everyone's, you know, re-engaging with with everyone, and it's just it's a really encouraging thing to see. It is, it is, and we had demonstration uh, various uh, exhibitors around the room, you know, seed counters and genetics equipment and things like that that bring the industry back together and mm -hmm. so just that part of it is key but seeing everyone a buzz in that room and the, the din of the noise of everyone talking was great. Yeah and you, you mentioned that confined environment agriculture and that was a, a fascinating session this morning we were live tweeting from it and uh, it w it's great to hear you know the people who are creating the vegetables talking to the seed industry about you know it's not the same as a greenhouse it's not the right. same as field you know things are so different so the needs are different so the opportunities are, are huge for this vegetable uh, and flower seed industry. Which brings up a good point here, which, you know, when we think about Asta, you guys serve all seed. We do. Why are flower and vegetable so important? I mean, you guys have a whole meeting dedicated to them. So why flower and vegetable seed? Well, it's produced so differently. In most cases with vegetables and flowers, you've got a double crop in most places around the country. You know, they'll, they'll plant one, and once it's harvested, they'll plant one following it. And so you've got that going on. You don't have the massive acres that you do in the Midwest. I think I heard a number earlier today, there's only 14 million acres of vegetable plantings, uh, fr fruit and vegetable planting in the U.S. So you think about the, the concentration of that production to put those produce products in our grocery stores or in our restaurants every day is, is a challenge. And so the logistics and everything else that come along with that is, is important. We play an absolutely key role in it. you got to plant that seed to get the produce. And produce is a very, um, it's an emotional purchase. You're, buying that tomato because you like the way it looks or you like the, that variety because of the way it tastes. And so that's where um, uh, it, it's just different because most people don't see 90 million acres of corn or 70 million acres of soybeans. No, no, it is a, it's a very different world. And I appreciate you saying it, it is an emotional purchase because that's yes. what you're directly ingesting and consumers see produce before they'll ever see field corn. Exactly. So really exactly. good point. Well, is there anything else that's been going on here in San Diego or just in general about, you know, stuff that AST is doing that we should know about? Well, there's a, still a very international flair to this. We had a lot of people from uh, South America. We had a lot of people from uh, Europe. Uh, didn't have our usual Asian contingent, but as the demand for uh, fresh produce continues to grow, people want it sooner, they want it fresher, they want it tastier. That's where the seed industry plays the role. I mean, you don't necessarily, you don't get that from the way it's planted or the way it's raised or the way it's harvested. You get it from the genetics that goes in the ground. And so we had an innovation session uh, yesterday. They really talked about a lot of the neat things that are happening in the breeding arena, in the, the uh, confined space, the confined environment arena, all of those things that will impact that produce that's gonna go on the consumer's table in the near future. Yeah, it's exciting stuff, really exciting stuff. So most important question of the day, what was your golf score this weekend? 
<laughs> you know, I didn't have the opportunity to play as oh, much as I would have liked to have been out there. It was a beautiful day here in San Diego, but uh, we had meetings that afternoon. So my, my team took care of the golf tournament for me. Well, I'm sure they made that sacrifice, you know. Oh, yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> hard, hard work for sure. Well, thanks so much, Andy, for, for inviting Seed World out. We enjoy being here as always. Um, and, and thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, this is Sonia Bagman with Andy Levine here at in San Diego at the American Seed Trade Association Vegetable and Flower Seed Conference. Thanks so much. Thanks, Sonia.